Okay, so page 247, example A, we've got an ice cube that is two centimeters on its edge. Okay, two centimeters on its edge, so yeah, that's it with that. Uh, it says it starts at minus 10, and it's brought up to a final temperature of 23.2 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, it tells us the density. Density is 0 0.917 grams per centimeters cubed. Uh, let's see. It tells us a specific heat, 2.01. So that's given. Uh, the enthalpy of fusion, 6.01. So all this is given, and it wants to know, what does it want to know? Uh, what is the enthalpy change to so the total enthalpy change? Okay. From 10. Okay. This is a slightly different problem than we've seen before. Here it gives us all the information. You have to note that somewhere here in the middle, when it hits zero degrees C, that's where the melting is going to happen. So the ice will melt. And so the ice will warm up from minus 10 to zero. Then it will melt. Then it will go from zero to 23. Okay. This is going to be a slightly different problem than before. Usually we go to sum of the Q's equals zero. But in this case, what it wants to know is, if you add this energy, okay, it's so the energy to warm it up, plus the energy to melt it, plus the energy to warm up the liquid water, what is the total energy to do that? So it's essentially, I'm putting energy into this system. How much energy do I need to do that? Okay, does that make sense? Just warm it up from minus 10 to 23. So really, I'm going to find this term, this term, and this term, and add them up. That's it. So You can't jump all the way. You need to go step by step. So what I'm going to do, this has a Q term, this has a Q term, and this has a Q term. There's three of them. I'm going to add them all up. Find them what they are and add them up. Okay, so I'll go Q1, Q2, and Q3. Q1 represents ice going from minus 10 to 0. So it's an MCP delta T term because there's a change in temperature. And that's the mass. Oh, shoot. How do I find the mass of this ice cube? Density times? Yeah, yeah, that's great. So I'll just write it right here. Mass is going to be density times volume. The density is given right here. The volume, 2 times 2 times 2, 8. That's it, because it's cubed. So density, 0 0.917 grams per centimeters cubed. The volume, 8 centimeters cubed. The heat capacity, or specific heat, 2.01. And the temperature change, what's the final temperature? Yeah, final temperature is zero. So I gotta go zero minus minus ten. Zero minus a negative ten. That's Q1, whatever that number is. Who cares? Whatever. Let's skip Q2 for a second, okay? Because Q3 and Q2 are pretty similar. Q3 is M C P delta T. Again, we're going up from 0 to 23. 
Uh, the mass, again, 0 0.917 times the volume, 8.0. So there's the mass. Uh, what's the heat capacity? Or the specific heat, sorry. Yeah, 4.184. So this time we're doing, uh, how should I say? This time, this is liquid water. So this is why this can't be one whole thing from minus 10 to 23. Because water, ice, and water liquid have different heat capacities. See, it's 2 versus 4. If you put them all as one thing, you'd be all messed up. Okay, so they have to be separate. And this is going from 23.2 to 0. So the final is 23.2, the initial is 0. Okay, and uh, let's see. Where is Q2? Q2, that's not a temperature change. It's a phase change. That's just a delta H. In this case, it's a delta H of fusion. That's just a term that they have for ice melt, or whatever it is melting, a solid or liquid. So, just a term you gotta get used to. That's this number right here. What's the problem with that number? Yeah, there's two problems. Well, for, these are in joules. So the, first, this is in kilojoules. That's bad. I gotta change it to joules. Second, I gotta get rid of the moles. So you're gonna do this a lot for delta H. Just get used to it. Every time you have delta H. I say almost every time. You gotta change it to joules. The other thing you gotta do almost every time is find out the moles, total moles. What the heck is the total moles? How would I find that? I gotta multiply by the total moles to get rid of that term right there. Excellent. We got the mass. It's this times this. How would I change the mass to moles? It's the molar mass, so it's 0 0.917 times 8 for the volume times the molar mass. This is water, so it's, uh, that's in grams, 18 grams per mole. Boom. Okay? Add them up. That's your answer. Okay? Uh, the final answer that your text got, let's see. Where is it? 3.31 kilojoules, or 3,310 joules, however you want to do it.